there's two different fields. There's two different fields. That field is different from the one that's going to come through in a second. There's a change, there's an inertia line crossover there, and then out comes the flower of life. But the first part is a vortex. It doesn't expand outwards. It is just, a, see how it doesn't change, but that comes out. So the bottom of the magnet is showing the field going in, and then the flower of life is coming out from the center and shows the pine cone shape. Think of it in three dimensions as he goes through it, which is why I invented it. I invented it to show that God is in everything and um, electricity and electromagnetism is what God is. And so I invented it so that the whole field could be visualized because the Vero cell was a toy right up until the moment that I put a hole in it. It was nothing more than a two-dimensional image that people were thinking was a three-dimensional image, which it's not. It's a flat plate, so it can't be a three-dimensional image. It's not a hologram. You're just seeing a flat image, a 2D image of a 3D image. You are not seeing a 3D image of a 2D image. And I'd say it was like a rainbow. It's an optical illusion. It's not what is actually there. And so I put a hole in my ferro plate so that I could go through the inertial line to see if there was an inertial line crossover, which is where the halo waves meet. I'd said it was there, I'd never had a ferro cell, and I found it, and you just saw it flip as it went through uh, the inertial line on Mike's video. So the only reason I did it was to prove God, as I've been saying that he gave me all these visions, and so here it is, um, and it's a pine cone.